Good morning. Welcome to day 108 of my Munro challenge. Today I'm walking route number 117 um, to Munro's Skir Hoodham, which is peak of the hillocks, and Skirna Corican, which is peak of the Corries. Now I'm parked at the uh, visitor centre at Glen Finnan. Um, and it's quite a bit well it's supposed to be a busy spot i'm the only one here <laughs> uh it's the um basically there's a monument here uh, and the viaduct that's on uh, harry potter is also here so it's quite a popular spot well there's the viaduct well i've had mel gibson make a cameo and we've had ewan mcgregor make a cameo i wonder if daniel ratcliffe's going to appear on today's video Very impressive structures, aren't they, viaducts? There you go. Constructed in July 1897. 18 grand. I bet it costs more than 18 grand to build today. So we start the day by following this tarmac track. I've got my companion back with me, as you can see. There we go, public footpath to Loch Akeg, seven miles, and the Bothy. So we're hoping the weather uh, picks up. It's a mixed forecast actually, so we'll see how we get on. Not quite sure what's going to happen today. Looking very moody up there. No idea how I'm going to cross this. I've decided to go upstream and I see there's a rickety bridge. So uh, there you go, hopefully it's passable. That would have been definitely wet feet time if it hadn't been for that bridge. <laughs> A lot of rain last night. There we go, a little sign there. That's our uh, second run row. That's the return path we'll be coming down. And we're heading home. We're heading up that way. <laughs> well, it's one of those, thank goodness for bridges. It's uh, a lot of water out today. Rained very heavily. I've just walked past this sign. I missed it. I had to retrace my steps. It's it's kind of behind you. See, it's not visible. Uh, but there you go, Skirhudum. Looks very faint this uh, this track, but and it also looks extremely steep. It's actually quite a good path, and considering the amount of rain we've had, it's not overly boggy. Do you know, I believe that's Skernan Corican peeping out the clouds. Let's hope it's like that when we get there. We're still climbing up this steep side. Let's have a view of the glen we've walked up. In fact, over there I can see the path cutting down the side that we'll be returning on. And there's a Land Rover track that we came up on. Looking over there, that hill is called Streep and it's 911 metres high. It's three metres short of a Munro. There we go, we've got a stand looking down at us, as usual. And over there, that's our second Munro of the day. To get this first one done first. Wow, we've got that ridge to cross later. Fantastic. Isn't that awesome? Do you know, I do believe that's not far off the top over there. Hopefully the weather will stay like this. As I say, it was such a mixed forecast today. You just didn't know what you're going to get. So we've been following this line of fence posts for a bit now. There's the first Munro, I'm far to the top. Gotta to go up and down, then we're gonna follow that ridge line. There's quite a few ups and downs along that ridge before we get to the second summit over there. 
a fair bit of work still to do, a lot of ups and downs. Wow, here we are, Scare Hoodham. And I get the impression we're about to get engulfed in cloud. So uh, we just got here at the right time. Wow, well, there's the ridge we've got to cross. So lots of ups and downs. And uh, next Monroe is now in cloud. What do you reckon, Stan? So I've crested the first uh, top. I'm just dropping down to the, probably the low point of the ridge. Uh, you can see there's a couple more ups and downs um, before we start making the final ascent. Looks like there's some weather coming in. Hopefully we'll get away with it. So I'm not sure whether the camera lens is good enough, but um, you can make out the viaduct down there in the glen. Just ahead of the lock that you can see. Doesn't look that far away from here. Does it stand, eh? There we go. I'm looking back up at the uh, first Monroe. I can actually see somebody uh, walking up towards the summit. First person I've seen today. We're uh, heading on this ridge over to second Monroe. Just looking at all that rain coming in. Looks like we're going to get wet soon. So that's the last one of these ups and downs that we've got to crest, these little tops. But each one is progressively higher, which means ultimately we're getting closer to the top, which you can see just in cloud. It seems quite appropriate that Monroe number 250 is covered in cloud and rain, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's see if it stays there, the way to the top yet. So, here we are, Skirna Corican, Monroe 250. Wow. What do you think, Stan? What a view, eh? Certain amount of irony in the fact that 250 is in cloud. So, I started walking down and the cloud just cleared, so come back to the top to uh, get a view. Did I say this was Munro number 250? I'm not sure. <laughs> there we go. I think we're above the cloud actually by the looks of it. Okay, let's start making our way back. So that's the top over there, and the clouds are just clearing again. Wow. Just following this ridge down. There we go. So we're going to drop down here. Um, a bit of a dip. We'll climb back over there. We're back up, that's about 800 down there. And we're going to climb back up to 850 over there before we... Uh, start making our descent properly. So you can see the first Monroe, various tops on the ridge, rather than the background the second Monroe and we're dropping down. Now we're dropping quite steeply down this uh, ridge line to that next top and we're going to pick up a path down to the uh, track that you can see down there. I have to say it's been very very steep coming down, a lot steeper coming down than I thought it was going up. Um, actually you can see the bridge down there that we crossed from past the little copse of trees and we went up that side there right the way up to the top and I thought that was pretty steady away but this side is really steep and uh, I can see why the guidebook suggested to do it this way round. So we're uh, meandering that way and eventually we'll pick up the uh, the track. So we're back on the track and uh, this is where I wish I brought a mountain bike now. It's uh, 
probably, I don't know, three, three mile, maybe more, back to the uh, car park. And uh, it can very easily be mountain bikeable, this. We had to cross that rickety bridge up there earlier today. That's gone down some, hasn't it? Stepping stones now. So here we are back at the viaduct. Didn't take that long, really. They say it's not the end of the world if you don't have a mountain bike. Hi, welcome to my Munro Challenge day 108. Today I walk route number 117. It's Wednesday the 29th of June and I parked at Glen Finnan um, Visitors Centre car park. £3.50 for the day. Um, now it's advertised as a very busy car park but when I got there at maybe 7.30 there was nobody there. Um, when I got back to the car park it was absolutely rammed so um, it is a busy car park you just need to get there early um, obviously they, it's busy because there's the viaduct to look at and, and a monument as well so it's, it's quite a tourist trap uh, the route starts very very steadily you follow the tarmac track all the way up the glen eventually the tarmac uh, you cross uh, a bridge and it becomes um, dirt gravel uh, rock track um, which uh, crosses uh, several fords a couple of which are um, impassable in spate but there are bridges um, now uh, there's a there's signed actually uh, for the for the both turns depending which way you want to uh, walk this route so I saw the first turn which was my return um, now I missed the second one, I only missed it by maybe 100, 100 yards, 100 metres or so before I realised I, I should have turned left. Um, and it's kind of set back a little bit the sign behind you so uh, I, I just totally missed it. Um, now I can't remember thinking the gradient was that steep going up um, Skirhudum. Um, now the guidebook suggests it is and when I looked across it looked steep but I can't remember feeling it was steep. Um, in fact I thought it was pretty steady all the way up to the top. Yeah I mean we had a lot of rain, the path, the, there was a path, a definite path. It was a bit squelchy but nothing nothing too bad at all. Uh, and you're getting some great views of the ridge once you get to the top that you're going to go across. Uh, and, in, and indeed the next Monroe, Skern and Corican. Um It's a lovely top, absolutely fabulous top. Um, I suspect Skern and Corican is the better one of the two, should it have been not in cloud. Anyway, um, when you drop off of Skur Hoodham, you drop onto the, uh, the ridge, which is extremely undulating. There's quite a few ups and downs along the ridge. Um, and as you then start ascending Skern and Corican, it does get quite rocky uh, and quite steep in places. Um, now it's it was my 250th Monroe and um, obviously the gods were conspiring against me so I I was gonna see a lot of rain and a lot of cloud on my 250th but up until then the day had been pretty good. I had got away with with the weather and indeed shortly after deciding eventually to descend um, the weather improved again so uh, the only bit of bad weather I saw was actually at the top of Skern and Corican. Um, now I have to say the the descent was very very steep and very slippy and quite difficult in places um, a lot steeper than I had anticipated because I expected it to be something similar to the ascent of Skirhudum. Uh, anyway, eventually you get dropped back to the track and um, and you start you walk back. It's probably around about three miles, maybe maybe four, somewhere between three and four miles. Um, now you could have mountain biked that very easily. Uh, if 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 you wish, uh, a lot of it's tarmac. There's no real gradients at all to speak of, um, so it would have been an ideal mountain bike walk uh, option. 
Uh, the day took me walking only eight and a half hours. Uh, there was 4,392 feet of ascent and it was 16 miles 